developmental period. So we know the thermal constant, the total amount of heat required for the development. And we know the lower threshold, then we just calculate the difference between the expected temperatures and the lower threshold and we will divide thermal constant by this number. So it will give us the developmental time of that particular insect. Now come to the other uh, parameter of life, that is the fecundity. Sir, you have slide chen. Amra dekhte na. Not yet, not yet. So what is fecundity? Fecundity, I'm coming to the slide, okay. Uh, Fecundity. <laughs> <laughs> These two terms, fecundity and longevity. So fecundity and longevity, what is fecundity? The total number of eggs laid by an insect or total number of offspring produced by an individual is called fecundity. That is its capacity to produce the offspring. What is fecundity? Fecundity is the capacity of an individual to produce how the offspring, how many offspring she can produce. That is the fecundity. This fecundity will be influenced. Ata insect kothoguli dim parbe, ba kothoguli bacha produce korbe in her lifetime. That is also influenced by the environmental temperature. Fecundity will be maximum at moderately high temperature. So moderately high temperatures, not too high, not too low. Moderately high temperature will be favorable to give the maximum fecundity. Okay. And it will decline when the temperature is at upper level or at lower limit of the favorable temperatures. So just sometimes what happens, the, some insects, they produce the generations without laying eggs, they can go for uh, viviparous generations, they can go for parthenogenetic reproduction. You know what is parthenogenesis? Do you know that? Parthenogenesis. Sir, Bijin fall to irir at a procrea. Yeah, parthenogenesis is actually is a kind of reproductions. These reproductions, the mother can produce the baby or the offspring without the help of this male partner. So this is parthenogenesis. So she can produce the offspring without the help of male. So this parthenogenetic reproduction, the insect usually reproduces just uh, normal uh, by fertilization, normal fertilizations. But in some situations, in some species of insects, the fecundity, that is the, the mode of reproduction can be changed due to the change of environmental temperature. When the environmental temperature is high, aphid, aphid, you know, aphid is an insect. That aphid goes to reproduce in the form of parthenogenesis. So this is one of the effect of temperatures. The insect can change its mode of reproductions from the normal, that is the normal reproductions to the parthenogenetic reproductions. Now, going to the next point, 
what is called the longevity. So fecundity, the point I discussed, the egg laying capacity is the fecundity and the egg laying number of eggs she lays, it also is influenced by the insects. Maximum number of eggs will be laid or maximum number of individuals will be produced when the temperature is in the moderate range. High temperature and low temperature will reduce the fecundity. Come to the longevity. That is the Ayushkal. How many days insect will survive? That is also another factor. That is the in temperature just influences this longevity. The, when the environmental temperature is high, moderately high, as it lays large number of eggs, as its development is high, then the, at higher temperature, the longevity will be lower. At a low temperature, the longevity of the insect will be higher. Longevity. For example, an insect survives only three days when the temperature is 30 degrees centigrade. But the same insect can survive 10 days or 12 days when the temperature is 15 degrees. So the temperature can influence the longevity of, temperature can influence the longevity of insect. Uh, the, another factor uh, I'm coming to next is distribution. Distribution is another heading. Uh, you know, the, the insect is not distributed throughout the world. All the species are not equally distributed throughout the world. So why it is like that? Environmental temperature is not same in all the areas of the world. So the temperature is a factor which influences the distribution where will these insects be available? Whether it will be available in the desert regions or in the polar regions or in the coastal belts. So uh, that is the also effect of temperatures. In Bangladesh, in India, in the subtropical environment and tropical environment, this is the home for insect, we can say hundreds and thousands of insects we can see in this type of environmental temperatures. But in the cooler regions, only a few insect will be seen. That is the distribution. They are safe. They are safe from the attack of insects. Not many insects will attack their crops. Not many insects will attack them also, those who are living in the temperate regions. But for we, but for us, we have many problems. Even in the Europe, if you look at this, in the temper, uh, in the Mediterranean regions, you will find an insect. In Italy, or around Italy, you will find an insect. It is called a fruit fly. It is called Mediterranean fruit fly. That fruit fly is an insect attacks the fruit. When this is taken to the England or North Europe, that fruit fly will not survive. Although in Europe, in the colder part of the Europe, that fruit fly will not survive, but it is a problem or it is a pest of crop in the Mediterranean regions. So that is the example. It, this fruit fly cannot stand below temperature at 10 degrees centigrade. Now, mosquito, we know mosquito. Mosquitoes are abundant in many of the regions, especially the temperature when it ranges between 20 to 30, it finds its very suitable environmental uh, area that is very suitable environment. When the temperature ranges like this, you will find a lot of mosquitoes are around. But when the temperature goes too high, 40 and above, you will not see mosquitoes, not see many mosquitoes. 
So that is the distribution. Many of the mosquitoes will die or they will move from one place to another place. So, can you please keep your in mute? Okay. Now I'm going to, uh, to give you another example. That example is if another insect, bowl worm of cotton, an insect called the pink bowl worm of cotton. That pink bowl worm, it does a lot of damage to the cotton when the temperature is around 35, 30 to 35. 30 to 35, the, it does a lot of damage to the cotton in Pakistan. Pakistan, they produce a good quality cotton. So the, the same insect will not be present when the temperature just two degree rise of temperature and three, two to three degree rise of temperature, you will not find that insects in cotton. So the distribution of insect depends on also the temperatures. There might be other factors, but temperature is one of the factors which, which just influences the distribution, whether the insects will be available in that area or not, depending on the environmental temperatures. Amar deshe hota sheet porle, ami amar jayga thi ke chede chole jayna. Kintu insect kintu hota kore jodi sheet pore she jodi okane difficulty feel kore, it will fly to some other areas. So that is called the distribution of insects, or it will not survive, it will die. So in this way we can say, the, either the population will increase or the population will decrease depending on the temperatures, or the population will not be there, or it will migrate from one place to another place. So that is called the dispersal or movement. Yeah. It can disperse quickly. Jodi hotat kore dekha jay jay kono ekta crop er upper part e dekha jay jay khub temperature is high. It can find a suitable place in the lower part of the crop. So that can happen. So in the effect dispersal. Adaptation, it is called the adaptations to temperatures. Uh, high temperature, adaptations at high temperature, locusts expose minimum body surface to the sun by laying parallel to them while they expose maximum body surface to sun at a low temperature, lying at right angle to them. Minimum body surface exposed to the temperature is high. When temperature is low, the maximum body surface exposed to get the temperatures. So this is the adaptations to the temperatures of many of the insects. So they find their own ways. How can Shita Shetakon Grammar Manush by the Oneke Gie, Shore Oneke Gie, Amra, Kutai Agun as a warmer place as a Shekanegi, Daratejai, Agun Zali, Agun Pohano, Bagun Tapano Guliamra. It happens. So, in similarly, or if we find any sun or rising sun, let us enjoy the sunlight or the temperature of the sun. So now, uh, dispersal, in the go down, if we look at the go down, the insects may remain with a big pile of uh, rice or big pile of wheat or many other uh, grain materials in the go downs. Some insects attack the, these grains in the go downs. They are evenly distributed when the temperature is okay. But when the temperature, they find it's too high in the lower part of the uh, pile, they will migrate to the upper part. So this is the one of the example is the rice weevil. You have probably seen the rice weevil or heard about the name of rice weevil. Rice weevil is a, an insect which attack rice in the go down. And that rice weevil is found in the upper layers of bean. 
irrespective of whether the initial infestation is started at the depth of the bin or at the surface due to rise of temperature. When the temperature will rise, the rise will not stay at the lower part of the pile, it will come to the upper part. So this, this is the one of the uh, effect of in, uh, temperature or influence of temperatures on the movement or dispersal of insects. Flight. Insects, you have uh, probably marked one of the insects few months back. It was um, the hot talk of the country, the locust, Pongopal. A Pongopal is coming to Bangladesh. Pongopal attacked India. Pongopal attacked uh, many African countries. So you know what is Pongopal? Pongopal in English, we call it a locust. That locust can be a serious problem. It, it starts damaging the crop in one hour time a complete devastation will occur. Why? Large number of locust individual will sit on the crop and in half an hour or one hour, the crop will be completely damaged by the locust. Then the locust will move to the another field. So locust is a serious paste, but this locust movement distribution, it depends on many factors. Environmental factor is one of the factors. Its home is the desert. Locust breeds in desert area. When the temperature in the in that area usually uh, seventy to twenty two degrees centigrade, migration occurs. The insect starts to migrate when the temperature is around twenty degree. But when the temperature goes below seventeen degree the insects will not migrate. That is the locust will remain in its area where it is developed. So migration, and it migrates, it flies. It flies from one area to another area. When it flies, it does not stop. It stops after just passing a long distance. So from one district to another district, it can go in one flight. So in this way, the locust migrates from one area to another area, one field to another field. So when the temperature is around 20 degree or above 20 degree, it starts its flight. It will not start its flight when the temperature is below 17 degrees centigrade. So 17 degrees centigrade, the farmer can say that the locust, there will be no damage of locust. But when the temperature will start to rise, the farmers will have to be careful whether the, there will be any locust attack or not. There might be a chance of locust. So these are these some points of uh, parameters, that is the life parameters which can be influenced by the environmental temperature. So development, fecundity, longevity, then distribution, and then dispersal. Now I'm coming to the another point. That is another factor of environment, moisture. Moisture. So we have moisture in the environment. We call it the humidity. So when the humidity sometimes when the humidity is high, okay, then what happens? The we sometimes feel embarrassed. It's too high humidity is existing. So. Insects body, if you look at the body um, that is of insect, it consists of 80 to 90% is water. 90% of the body material is water in most of the insects. Aquatic larva, it has 98% body material, water. So when the, the temperature, changes, 
that is when the temperature the water is generally lost through the spiracles and integument when the moisture that is the environmental moisture is low if you just take one insects from the high moisture area to the low moisture area immediately the insect will lose moisture from its body so insects cannot afford to lose more water from the body they can intake hence they need to conserve water depending on the situations body te je poriman moisture thaka dorkar sei moisture jodi na thake tahole they will find difficulties to survive so high moisture there is no exact range like that they we have found that favorable moisture range for the and uh, for temperature range for the insects but in this case there is no definite range like that so sometimes the uh, insects adapt to the to conserve the moisture how do they adapt to conserve the moisture insects the same insects can have dark pigments can have light pigments in the cooler areas they have dark pigment but in the warmer areas the same insects develop light pigments a light pigments and dark pigments light colors for example the locust desert locust this light color helps to reflect sun rays and save them from excessive evaporation same insects when it is in the cooler area it develops dark pigment and that dark pigments helps absorb more heat from the sun so insects produce dark pigment insect produce light pigments color variation may occurs depending on the moisture conditions so depending on the moisture to preserve moisture sometimes the insects develop that sometimes we have seen the integument in case of beetle beetle integument is quite uh, strong well developed and it is fused it has fused sclerites it aid in conserving body moisture wax coating of the integument wax that is sometimes you will find wax coating of the integument it saves from excessive evaporations so wax coating jodi thake tahole shete excessive evaporation ke protect kore winglessness the same insect sometimes may have short wings may have long wings in case of grasshoppers you have seen the grasshoppers you have seen the crickets in the arid regions they have wings poorly developed wings are not developed well poor wings so this winglessness or less wing short wing they have by which the area of evaporation is reduced so area of evaporation is reduced due to the change and they have this is the mechanisms to protect ami age bolechi je eder kono definite there is no definite range of favorable humidity to all insects okay different species and their different immature stages have their own range different immature stages humidity আমরা দেখেছি যে টেম্পারেচার এফেক্ট করে লাইফ কে হিউমিডিটি অলসো এফেক্ট দি স্পিড অফ ডেভেলপমেন্ট ইট অলসো এফেক্ট দি ফেকান্ডিটি ইট অলসো এফেক্ট দি কালার অফ ইনসেক্টস সো ইফ দি ওয়াটার কন্টেন্ট অফ দি বডি ইজ হাই তখন কি হয় ওয়াটার কন্টেন্ট যদি হাই হয় সেখানে যদি ড্রাই এয়ার দেখা যায় তার ডেভেলপমেন্টটা হঠাৎ করে বেড়ে যেতে পারে যে ড্রাই এয়ার এক্সেলেন্টস দি ডেভেলপমেন্ট তাহলে 
the humidity jodi hotat kore jodi insects finds little dry air the development of insects will be higher then come to the dry air means that is the amount of water in the air is low that is the relative humidity mm. amount of moisture in the air is low then low cost i told you what is low cost pongopal it gets its sexual maturity quickly kokhon jokhon the temperature is around 70 degree uh, 70% that is the not temperature that is the relative humidity is around 70% 70% relative humidity will increase or will give the locust quick sexual maturity that it is to really starts its reproductions it will really starts laying eggs the when the relative humidity is around 70% so relative humidity influences the fecundity relative humidity influences the development relative humidity uh, <clears throat> hotat kore moisture in case of rhinoceros beetle you know rhinoceros beetle is a beetle which attacks the coconut plant that beetle develops dark chitin in moist air when the air is moist that is relative humidity is very high in the air it develops a chitin chitin is dark chitin and light chitin in dry air so in moist air it will produce dark chitin and light chitin will be produced in dry air so in this way the presence of humidity influences the development fecundity the color then survival also survival means the longevity that is how long it survives the whether the survival will be affected or not that is also indirectly influenced by the relative humidity or by the moisture air moisture how indirectly not directly it is not killing the insect directly or it will not kill the insects but indirectly it will produce the environment which will the insect will uh, not be able to survive or it will affect a lot how environmental temperature environmental humidity condition jokhon extremely high humidity exists in the environment it favors many disease organisms many microorganisms which can cause disease for example bacteria virus or uh, fungus <coughs> that bacteria virus fungus these can cause disease to many of the organisms including the insects so when the insects get diseased by these microorganisms bacteria fungus virus the insects may not survive and these disease organisms the <clears throat> activity of the disease organisms will be higher kokhon jokhon the environmental humidity will be high tale environmental humidity high hole a disease or disease prokop will be higher so this is the indirectly the disease incidence will be high due to the high environmental humidity so we can say that the effect of moisture that is it can influence the light a life of insect in various ways now come to another factor is uh <clears throat> what is light light is another non living factor abiotic factors how does light affect sir light ta ki sir zoom bodo kar sir slide chhode
स्लाइड शो ओके थैंक यू वेरी बोलो सर स्लाइड तो सर स्लाइड शो दिए बोल है तन्वीर तन्वीर आई एम गिविंग दिस ओके स्लाइड शो थैंक यू सर ऑल राइट लाइट व्हाट इज लाइट लाइट इज ए फैक्टर नॉन लिविंग फैक्टर्स सनलाइट is the greatest single source of energy we know all of we for most of all biological systems definitely it is an ecological factors but it is non lethal factors non lethal means temperature can kill the insect can kill the organisms but the light will not it is a non lethal but it helps orientation and the rhythmic behavior of insects we are mainly concentrating on the life parameters of insects so we can see the influence of life light in our life in many others uh, organisms light but we are not going to talk about our subject is entomology so how does light influence the life of insects we need to know that <clears throat> so visible and ultraviolet light influences growth molting and fecundity growth molting and fecundity growth that is the development molting molting what is molting do you know molting sir colos change kara it changes its skin it goes to the next steps by changing one of its layer of skin it's called molting so molting will be faster or slower sometimes the molting will occur or not that depends on light fecundity so i am coming to that um so light is influencing the growth molting and fecundity growth means development come to the development already you know development there how long it takes to be mature from the egg to adults that is the developmental period so in case of silkworm you have heard the name silkworm reshom poka have you have you heard the name reshom Yes, that. Sir. Yes, sir. that insect is a valuable insect that is not a problem to us that is rather is a beneficial insect we know that insects and we need to uh, rear multiply that insects because that insects produces good quality of threads fine threads which we use to produce quality uh, cloths mainly the women even the men they uh, wear many of these silk products silk cloths so silk one is very valuable in shapes it produces silks but we need to develop the silk one we need to take care of silk ones so development of the silk one will be faster in the light than in the darkness development ta onek ta druto hoy temperature to ache eta effect korbe temperature kintu will if cause the development definitely moderate temperature is necessary but in addition with that the development of the silk worm will be faster when there is a high or prolonged light period tale arakta insect example holo grub of trogoderma trogoderma is a beetle trogoderma is a beetle and grub what is a grub grub is the immature stages of coleopteran insect that coleopteran insect one of the example of coleopteran insect is trogoderma trogoderma granarium in bangla we call it's a khapra beetle that khapra beetle khapra beetle develop more rapidly in light jodi light thake godown e tahole dekha jay je ei beetle ta khub druto tar briddhi ghote 
তাহলে আমরা দেখতে পাচ্ছি যে নট অনলি দি টেম্পারেচারস নট অনলি দি মার্সারস দি লাইট ক্যান ইনফ্লুয়েন্স দি ডেভেলপমেন্ট ইট ক্যান কজ দি ফাস্ট গ্রো অর স্লো গ্রোথ অফ ইনসেক্ট টু কাম টু দি অ্যানাদার প্যারামিটার ফেকান্ডিটি ইউনো ফেকান্ডিটি ইজ ফেকান্ডিটি ইনফ্লুয়েন্স ডিউ টু দি চেঞ্জ ইন দি লাইট ইয়েস সামটাইমস ইট হ্যাপেন্স let us come to a moth example of a moth a spotted boll worm is an insect a spotted boll worm mainly a pest of cotton another hairy caterpillar red hairy caterpillar they lay most of their eggs during the periods of darkness erakom onek insect ase they will eggs during the period of darkness আমরা আরেকটা ইনসেক্ট বেগুনের পোকা দেখেছ বেগুন খাইতে গেলে অনেকে আমরা পোকা দেখেছি বেগুনের মধ্যে পোকা হ্যাভিউ সিন বেগুন কাটলে বা বেগুন ভর্তা করলে অনেক সময় পোকা ভর্তা করে আমরা খেয়ে ফেলি ইউ হ্যাভ সিন দ্যাট ইজ অ্যান ইনসেক্ট দ্যাট ইজ কল ব্রিঞ্জাল শুট অ্যান্ড ফ্রুট বোরার দ্যাট ব্রিঞ্জাল শুট অ্যান্ড ফ্রুট বোরার লেস এগস অ্যাট নাইট নট in the daylight tale light is influencing the egg laying fecundity of insects egg laying of insect is influenced by light bean weevil is another insect it lays more eggs that is the number of eggs will be higher that is the fecundity will higher in total darkness than light jodi ডার্কনেসটা বেশি থাকে তাহলে তার নাম্বার অফ এগস উইল বি হায়ার ইন কেস অফ অ্যান ইনসেক্ট বিন উইভিং সো দ্যাট ইজ এন ইফেক্ট অফ এ বায়োটিক ফ্যাক্টরস দ্যাট ইজ দি লাইট নাও আদার অ্যাক্টিভিটিস মেনি আদার অ্যাক্টিভিটিস উইল বি ইনফ্লুয়েন্সড দি লাইট বাই লাইট হোয়াট ইজ দ্যাট হানি বি হানি বি মৌমাছি there is a correlation between hours of sunshine and their activity correlation between the sunshines when there is no sunshine the honey bees will not stay in the field they used to go to the field to collect honey nectars from different flowers they visit flowers to flowers go to flowers to flowers collect nectars and bring it to their hives and make it honey but this honey bee its activity will be reduced when the sunshine is low when there is no sunshine the honey bees will no go not go out it will not go out from their hive it will stay within the hive but when there is a good sunshine they will go out and go to visit the flowers so this sunshine is a light that light is affecting the movement of honey uh ei dhoroner orientation jodi thake লাইট যদি তাকে এফেক্ট করে দি ওরিয়েন্টেশন অফ অ্যানিমেলস থ্রু ডিরেক্টেড মুভমেন্ট বাই লাইট ইজ কলড ফটো ট্যাক্সিস ইজ এ টার্ম ওরিয়েন্টেশন অফ অ্যানিমেলস থ্রু ডিরেক্টেড মুভমেন্ট বাই লাইট ইজ কলড ফটো ট্যাক্সিস তো দিস ওরিয়েন্টেশন মে অলসো ডিপেন্ডস অন টেম্পারেচার ময়েশ্চার ফুড অ্যান্ড এজ বাট লাইট যদি কখনো এটাকে করে তাহলে লাইটের দ্বারা যদি এটাকে ওরিয়েন্টেশন হয় তাহলে সেটাকে ফটো ট্যাক্সিস বলা হয়ে থাকে যেমন গ্রিন লিফ ওপার গ্রিন লিফ ওপার ইজ অ্যান ইনসেক্ট ধান গাছে এটা প্রচুর ক্ষতি করে থাকে ধানের পাতার রস শোষণ করে অ্যান্ড ইট ট্রান্সমিট এ ভাইরাস ডিজিজ টু দি রাইস প্ল্যান্ট গ্রিন লিফ ওপার নেপোটেটিক্স ভাইরাস সেন্স নেপোটেটিক্স ইনসেকটিসেপস দিস গ্রিন ওপারস are attracted to light on hot and humid evening it is light is attracted hoye thake tahole dekho light is attracting the if you set any light in the rice field you would like to kill the leaf hoppers by spraying insecticides but instead of spraying insecticides you can kill the leaf hoppers by putting a light in the field if you set a light or lamp or a bulb in the field many of the leaf hoppers will come to the light and set a bucket of water underneath the lights the leaf hoppers will be dropped into the lights and they will be killed 
এই যে লাইট দিলেই তারা অ্যাট্রাক্টেড হচ্ছে এই যে ফটো ট্যাক্সিস যে তাদের একটা ইয়ে রয়ে গেছে গ্রিন লিফ হপার এটার একটা এক্সাম্পল এরকম অনেক ইনসেক্ট আছে যারা দে আর অ্যাট্রাক্টেড টু দি লাইট কিন্তু এটার সাথে আবার আরো কিছু ফ্যাক্টর অনেক সময় জড়িত হোয়াট আর দি ফ্যাক্টর যেমন দি হট অ্যান্ড হিউমিড ইভিনিং লাইট ওয়েল লাইট ইজ দেয়ার বাট দি ইভিনিং ইজ নট হট অ্যান্ড হিউমিড দি লিফ হপার মে নট কাম টু দি লাইট তো দি লাইট উইল অ্যাট্রাক্ট দি লিফ হপার্স ওয়েন the it is the humidity is hot the evening uh, humid and hot evening exist so now some other examples i am giving you separate beetles pass the day in the concealment separate beetles cockroaches era kintu diner bela dekhbe luke thake they do not come to the light but when night comes they will start their activity cockroach go to the dining table now you dining hall now or go to your kitchen now you may not find the cockroach but at 12 o'clock or at 1 o'clock in the at night you go there and turn your light on you will find the cockroaches are working cockroach cockroach chaffer beetles in their activity oriented due to light তারপরে ডাস্ক ইজ দি মোস্ট ইউজুয়াল টাইম ফর ফ্লাইট অ্যান্ড কো পলিউশনস অফ মথস ফর ইমার্জেন্স অফ উইং টু হোয়াইট অ্যান্ড কোনো কোনো ইনসেক্টের জন্য এই ডাস্ক ইজ দি মোস্ট ইউজুয়াল টাইম ফর ফ্লাইট অ্যান্ড ফর কো পলিউশনস দি মথস উইল মেট উইথ দেয়ার পার্টনার্স ওয়েন ইট ইজ নাইট সো নট ফর অল মথস বাট ফর সাম অফ দি স্পিসিস so depending on this so we would like to say that the <coughs> animals that is the insects can be categorized into diurnal nocturnal so diurnal and nocturnal diurnal the insects which are active during daylight je sob insect gula diner bela active tader ke amra boli eta diurnal insects those who are active at night they are called nocturnal insects you can give grasshopper is an diurnal insect it takes food when it is day at night the grasshopper will just not be active come to the cockroach it is active at night so it is nocturnal insects so nocturnal and diurnal and another one is called crepuscular crepuscular insects which are active at dusk kisu kisu insect as they are very much active at dusk so in this way we can say the nocturnal and diurnal and crepuscular come to the uh, photo periodism the number of hours of light in a day length amader 24 ghonta shomoy this is is termed as photo period the response of organisms to the photo period that is the length of the day is not photo periodism photo periodism photo period it is light period induces diapause jodi day length ta onek shomoy khub lomba hoye jay photo period induces diapause diapause you know it will just stop its activity it will stop its development uh, so in this way insects in which diapause is induced by long day অনেক সময় লম্বা দিন যদি অনেক লম্বা হয়ে যায় আঠারো ঘন্টা বিশ ঘন্টা সেক্ষেত্রে দেখা যেতে পারে যে সেই ইনসেট গুলা ডায়াপোজে চলে গেছে ওই ইনসেট গুলাকে বলা হচ্ছে যে শর্ট ডে স্পেশিস শর্ট ডে হলে তাদের অ্যাক্টিভিটি ভালো তাহলে শর্ট ডে ডায়াপোজিস সেখানে ডায়াপোজে চলে যাবে দ্যাট ইস দেয়ার উইল বি নো অ্যাক্টিভিটি দেয়ার উইল বি নো গ্রোথ 
so uh, growth will be too low. So that is called the short day species. Mm -hmm. Our have a long day species holo, jokhon, the, the insect in which the diapause is induced by short day length. Jokhon short day take diapause to kore, that insect is called the long day species. Tale short day species insect as a short day species uh, Shetaholoje jar, diapose vegetabare, short dare carne, short day length carne, she diapose chorejetabare. That type of insect will be known as the long day species. So, long day species and short day species is known. Now, photo period is also known to control mode of reproduction. Reproduction. Temperature of catabolism, the mode of reproduction change with the affidavit ketre. Probably you can remember. In a reduced photo period, sexual forms are produced in affids. Jokon photo period, the day length, the short hoy, the insect will produce sexual form, but it can produce a sexual form or parthenogenetic forms. When the photo period is long, the photo period is also influencing the reproduction of in oviposition. Dim parbe ki parbe na. Sheta a light stimulates the oviposition. Dim pada. Oviposition is the egg laying. Egg laying will be affected by the light, presence of light. It is stimulates oviposition. In case of cockroach, in case of mantid. They belong to the same group. So mantidae, praying mantid, very planeta americana, cockroach. The oviposition that is dim parbe ki parbena that is influenced by the light. So the khadda grohanna, oviposition is also. Pigmentation, light can cause. In dark areas, pigmentation develops in insects. The lemon is a pigmentation ekhane hoi. Dark color develops in dark areas. You have seen famous luminous insect. It is called luminous insects. Are glow worms, fireflies. They are the insects. They produce lights by themselves. So one of the enzyme Lucifer is they have in presence of oxygen and adenosine triphosphates, it promotes the oxidation of Luciferin and light is produced. This causes the production of light in insects. So Jonaki Jalai Bati, Jonaki Bati Jalai, it light produce light produce especially female <coughs> produce flashlight to attack the male for mating. most of the cases the female produce flashlight to attack the male partners for their mating purpose. So time shifts. Light camera. Bevar kurte par yaagi ek example diye shi. Can we use this light in managing our insect problem? In managing insect pest? Pari to we can. Jodi hotak kore yamra ghumano shumai light off kore di. Mosquitoes are underneath the cart or underneath your bed or somewhere it was hiding, but it will come to bite you. Start biting. So light, so the, if you keep the light on, that is turning the light on continuously, you might find the less problem of mosquitoes. So you are getting rid of mosquito problems just by turning the light on. So light is currently Moshar Tick Eki Habe, light a management of Juno Amra Vavar Kutipari, Vipino Shumai. Many insects are either attracted or repelled to artificial light. This reaction is known as phototaxis. I already told you. See, Trogoderma acta insect got a bolus Trogoderma shows negative reactions. 
and it is called photonegative. Photonegative graph of trochoderma shows negative reactions, and it is termed as photonegative species. Jeshav, hatat kore light dekhle piche paliye zai. She insect gula ke bola hai photonegative species when it shows negative reactions to the light. Most of the moths are attracted to the lights. They are not known as photopositive insects. The photopositive species, those who are attracted to the light, many insects, many moths, many leaf hoppers, many of the hoppers are attracted to the lights. They are called photopositives. Kichu, kichu kase tara photo negative. So, Based on the principle, on this principle, photo positive, photo negative, we can use the as the uh, for managing our pest. I told you the green leaf hoppers, many of the insects, uh, we can attract and we can kill them, we can trap them, we can destroy them by using a trap, it is called light trap. So, light trap, light is used and there will be trap with the light. Insect will be attracted to the light. Karajbe, kon insect will light at the bottom? Photopositive. Photopositive insects. So not all insects are photopositives. There are many insects, they are photonegative. Let the cockroach come to the light. Cockroach will never come to your light. But if you turn on the lights, the rice moth, rice stem borer moth will be attracted to your lights. Green leaf hopper will be attracted to your lights. So in this way, we can collect the, we can um, collect the photopositive insects and destroy them by using a trap. It is called light trap. So light trap, if it is known, the behavior of insect is known, the behavior to light is known, then we can use this um, for managing our paste, for controlling our paste. So uh, this is eco-friendly management of paste. Without using pesticides, you can reduce the population of insects just by trapping them using light. So- Sir, time shift, sir. The time shift, sir, the time shift. Time shesh. Okay, time is over. That's all right. So uh, probably uh, we have understood. Sir, photo text. Sir, photo text is, uh, includes both uh, photo positive and negative. Yes. Okay, so uh, I would like to thank you for your questions. Uh, definitely, uh, you have understood, I believe, and uh, uh, I would like to discuss the, these points in the next times. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. So I have a